the mail came today. So we got some wonderful things here for uh, building our lead lights in our dome and it's time to open these bad boys up and see exactly what's inside. I got more packages coming but these came today so we get to see what's in them. Here we go. This is from DigiKey, one of the companies I ordered some stuff from. So let's see what they sent. The invoice says, I got a lot of stuff right here. This is two sheets worth. So this is almost everything that's required to build the uh, LED displays for I should say circuitry wise, I don't think any of them are the boards, but nope, just purely parts. And I believe it comes packed rather nicely too. So let's see what we got here. This, just packing. This looks like a uh, 24. What is this? This is for sockets, 16 pieces. Uh, pretty cool stuff right here. Everything comes in sealed bags, so I got more of these. These are the um, drivers. These are really expensive. You can get them cheaper on eBay, but sometimes you get what you pay for, and since I had the money to spend for it, this is what I did. I don't know if you can see those in there or not, but those are the uh, the these are the Max 7219s that go for the uh, Arduino. Let's see here, some more little parts in here. Not exactly sure what we got here. They put these all in the bag. So, we've got one resistor right there, I believe. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is a cap. We've got a 28-ohm resistor right there, little guy. What is this? Two-position side terminal block. I don't remember ordering one of these, but... I guess I did, so we'll see if that's part of the parts or not, or they just sent me something that was an accident, or something I'm not really supposed to have. These are the um, hard breakaways, 40 positions right there. I don't remember ordering these either, but hey, if I did, I did, right? And this is, I don't know what this is. Something for 5 volts. Electric sensitive devices. Be careful. But that's in there. More stuff. So we've got um, headers. That's a dual strip right there. Which I always thought was the same thing as this. But maybe these are for the chipsets. That's exactly what this is for then. So we got... That's sockets, 24 in there. Mm. Another socket right there. More caps. Ten ohm resistors. More caps at 10 UF. Oh boy, I love all this stuff. This is great. 24 ohm resistors. A lot of parts going into building these little LED lights. You know, when Lucas went to build the droids, they told him, nah, you can't do it. It's going to be too expensive. They were right. So we got this, this came from eBay, I'm guessing this here 
is um, my lead lights, so we'll see. Don't hurt yourself. Little box. Sounds like Hanukkah in a little box. What could be in it? Again, using a knife, don't hurt yourself. Safety first, that's what they always teach us at work. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Clear blue LEDs. Yellow LEDs. Red LEDs. More blues, but the difference between these and the others. These are five millimeters and these are three. Got some greens and some whites. So right here, the greens and the whites. Let's see here, the blues, these little blues right here. Most of these are for the, um, the little square boxes that you see right there that are on the side of R2. The greens and the reds, actually the green and the yellow, this is for the big circles that you see on the back of R2. The red and the blue, these are for the big circle that you see on the front of R2. So these are all for the LEDs that came for that, and then I have some more kits coming in the near future. <laughs> in which I can build more and more stuff for my wonderful R2 unit. The mail came today and I was expecting some more packages so I could build the lights all across R2's dome. I got three packages. This is going to be fun so let's see what we got. The first one looks like this is from Spark Fun Electronics. This looks like it's going to be kind of fun to open up. Looks like it's sealed really good. I don't remember what I ordered from each one, but that's okay because all we have to do is open it up and we'll see. So this one's got a little box. It's kind of small. Ah. Let's see here. Got a little wrapper. So we have the, uh, this looks like this is the Arduino right here. That controls all the LEDs. That way it uh, basically it sparkles and flashes. And then this one, that's the five volt transformer that you attach. That way you can run on five volts if you are running on like a nine volt battery or something with more power to it so you don't kill everything. So that came from sparkfun.com. You can see right there. The next one, probably something I got from where I have no idea from whatsoever, but I'm sure it's something I need. So let's see what this one is. This came from West Florida Components, and what they are, they have a prepackaged LED uh, LED lights that they send that is for the R2-D2 for one of the displays. It's got 255 of them in there for the strips, so be careful with this one. See what it is. So we've got some orange lights right there or yellow, whatever you'd like to call them. Some small red ones and some small green ones right there. So that's exactly what that'll be for. And then we got one more package. Let's see what this one is. This is from OSH Park. My favorite color, purple. That's probably what my next R2 color will be. So. Let's so open this one up, it's going to be fairly simple. It's got a little tab. Pull that there. Open it up here. 
This I want to be careful with. I'm kind of shocked how it was shipped, but got circuit boards right here. These are going to be for all the displays for our tube. Should be five of them that I ordered. Got these right here. These are split in two actually. Got those right there. And these, these are for the hollow lights that go on top and on the side of R2. That was from OSH Park. So there we have it for the lights. So as soon as I can get my dome sanded, I'm going to work on the lights. And that should be a lot of fun.